Welcome back, everybody. I'm Alan Taylor. This is the pioneering performance stage here at Shell SEMA 2015. Jesse Combs, she's joining us, TV and racing personality. On behalf of Craftsman, she just did something that is wild beyond belief. The race of gentlemen. Gentlemen, lady, a lady in the race of gentlemen. Is that a first, Jesse? It actually is a first. This was the first year that they invited ladies to come race with wow. the gentlemen. And I was one of, was there five girls? I think yeah. in the end there was four or five. Yeah. So do me a favor, you guys. Tell the world who you are. Start on the end over there. I'm Max Herman with H&H &H Flatheads. Uh, built the uh, 20 engines in the car for Craftsman. Uh, I'm Meldon Van Riper Stoltz III. Uh, I run the race of gentlemen with my partner Bobby Green right here. Uh, Oilers Car Club, Motorcycle Club. Uh, Bobby Green from Race of Gentlemen, Old Crow Speed Shop. Um, we are collectively the Oilers Car Club, and uh, we built a car this year for Craftsman Tools. It's a uh, 1917 Model T with two engines, and Jesse was our driver this year. So Jesse Combs sitting right here. If you go into the Craftsman booth, you will see a chassis with two engines in line, four-cylinder, 1917, you said? And all it is is like a seat, a steering wheel, a chassis, and two engines back-to-back. -back. And you drove that in the race of gentlemen. <laughs> It was insane. <laughs> it was insane. No, was there even a seat belt? There's no seat belt. The car is a little bit too big for me. So, you know, there's, a, and it's a Model <laughs> T. So if anybody's driven a Model T, it's completely backwards. It's not, it's a Model T frame yeah, with two and engines. That's it. And that's it. But even just the driving portion of it is, yeah. So it, there's nothing holding me in. That's amazing. I looked at that and I went, that's what she drove? I thought, how could that possibly be? So what was it like? Look, take, walk us through. You pull up on the starting line or whatever it was and take it from there. The, the crowd is absolutely fantastic at the race of gentlemen. It's the closest thing that you can get to a time warp, so you just feel like you're completely back in the 1930s, 1940s. It's I mean, this, this is what we see throughout the entire weekend. It's really, really rad. Yeah, period dress, or whatever that is. Is that what they call it? Period dress, obviously the cars, and everybody, just the energy there is so high and it's so positive. Everybody's in a good mood and they're just there to have fun and race. So we pull up to the starting line and we basically just laugh at each other and say, see you at the finish line if we're lucky. And we haul ass down the beach. It's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Man, it's a race on the beach. I don't know if you guys have seen this. By the way, if you go to uh, Craftsman Facebook page, there's a whole bunch of videos, right? Tons of videos. I know, I, I know when they started that, I was like, I got to watch those. And I have, because of all these events we've been doing, I haven't had a chance to watch them. And let me just talk to Bobby for a second. President, co-owner of Race of Gentlemen, how did you start this? What was the idea here? Well, um, this was year four of the race. And uh, when Craftsman contacted us this last year about building them a car for, just for the race, Mel and I really talked about, well, let's educate pe people on what the very first race cars looked like because it's so far back in history, 1903, 1905, that we forget what the very first American race cars look like. And this rail job with the Model T engines is what started racing in America. It's the Rosetta Stone of everything we have here today. And I love how you guys do it in the whole, you know, period dress and it's gotta be fun. I wish I could have gone, and, and, but I'm sure all the videos show it all, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we don't really think of it as period of dress because we dress this way You guys dress day. like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, you know, we just like the style that Americans had in the 20s, 30s, 40s. We had good style. Yeah. So, you know, we like to... What's old is new again, as they say, right? Exactly. I, I stole this hat from my dad. <laughs> yeah, he probably stole it from his dad by the looks of it. <laughs> so how did you get involved with Bobby here? Uh, funny enough, we um, just admired each other's cars and bikes and uh, so I was watching him online you know from the East Coast and he saw some things I did from the West Coast and I wound up buying this amazing race car uh, it was a um, it was a, a, a remake of a 
of a Model T that was uh, fashioned after this guy, uh, Roy Moulty Aldrich's car. And uh, so this, this T was out on the West Coast. I needed to get it to the East Coast. And I said, you know, hey, Bob, you want to watch this car for me until I get out there? And uh, he said, uh, yeah, man, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. And uh, I stayed in a trailer at his, in, his, in his yard once, and I never even saw him. Um, so my first introduction to Bobby was just, you know, text messages and phone calls and let me use his property. Um, and <laughs> Free storage was the, <laughs> yeah. um, the motivation well, you know, there. We all work together, you know, it's a it's family. A, yeah, Let's absolutely. talk to Max for a sec. Max, what's Trog, first of all? I got to know. The race of gentlemen. The race of, oh, well, see, there you go. That kind of made sense. All right, I need one of those shirts, by the way. We can no wear problem. some out Thank you. So what, what did you do? You are with uh, your engine builder, H&H &H Antique, and the Oilers Car Club. Talk about what you did. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically what I get to do. I get to build all these neat cars with these guys. Um, I do a lot of four-cylinder inline work, uh, a lot of V8 flathead work. Uh, and I'm lucky enough to uh, get to team up with Bobby and Mel and, and uh, do a bunch of great stuff with this. You know, Mel, um, Max is being humble, but he is one of the premier vintage engine building guys in America. And at his age, is pretty remarkable. He does Model Ts, Model As, Model Bs, even early Duesenberg crazy stuff. Did you go to school to learn that, Max? No, I picked it up uh, from my father. It was a family business that he started back in 1970, doing Model As and uh, fun stuff. He was actually also going to law school at that time, and he decided, you know what, I'd rather have fun building motors Good than doing for him, stuff. right? So, uh, yeah, I've uh, been involved with the shop my whole life, really, and uh, it, it was basically, hey, you want to learn how to drive? All right, build this car. There yeah. you go. No, it's a beautiful thing. Doesn't your grandmother still work on cars? My grandmother? Yeah. Yeah, she does. His grandmother still now, fixed uh, part engines. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, it's all in the family. Uh, women in the race of gentlemen. Did you guys go up against any uh, push from the gentlemen, I might, you might say? No? Girls involved? Who wouldn't love it? Yeah, that's what I said. I love it when girls talk about transmission <laughs> fluid and shift points and things like that. You and know? I, I think it heightened the competition, too, because nobody wants to lose. No, well, no man does, anyway. <laughs> that's all right. I was with Jesse James from Monster Garage years ago. We raced in the Baja 500, and, and there was about there was an all-woman's team. And they passed us right when we got a flat tire. He got so mad. He's like, I'm not letting those women pass me. I'm like, dude, dude, just calm down, you know? It's like, I couldn't believe it. Some people get all intense. You know what, though? Look at Danica, Danica Patrick and look at some of these great women racers that are they're good at what they do. And look at Jesse Combs. So anyway, well, guys, I'll tell you what. You can see all about what they did. If you go to the Craftsman Club, you go to Craftsman Facebook page, there's some great videos. And uh, thank you guys for being on a show with us. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having us. All right. Thank you so much. The, the car, if you actually want to see it, is right over in front and center hall right there. Right. 20065. I'm going there right now if you guys want to come get some autographs. Yeah, but you're not going until we throw out some t-shirts. Right you guys get we'll some t-shirts for us, some hats or something? Jared, you get some hats or t-shirts for us? Okay, we got some free t-shirts. We'll be right back with more from the Pioneering Thanks, Performance Stage. These are where it all came from. Pioneers back in the 18, 1900s, early 1900s. We'll be right back. I'm Alan Taylor. Pioneering Performance right here on the stage. Thank you, Craftsman. Thanks.